What's up, guys? How you doing? Hey. Good. How are you? It's Kid and Sabrina, um, and we got our buddy Paul here too. Yeah, 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 Hi. yeah. Thanks, buddy Paul. <laughs> hey, buddy Paul. Where are you right now? I am in Atlanta. Uh, we had final dress rehearsals for the tour last night. Hmm. Kick off tonight. I'm amped. Same day, ready to go. Awesome. <laughs> That's uh, great. I'm just curious if you've ever been to the great state of Maine before. I, I have one time before, a long, long time ago. Oh, I think the Jonas Brothers were in Portland once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a funny story about that, Nick, because we gave away a pair of tickets, a bunch of tickets, and somebody forgot to give the name to Will Call, so people drove two hours there, and they got screwed out of the tickets. <laughs> no way. Yeah, it wasn't a real... Oh, it happened. <laughs> we made it up to the family somehow. I can't, it was like the, it was seven or eight years ago, at least, so I can't remember. Oh, my God. That's horrible. I know. Sorry. I thought so. You should have seen how I felt. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, it, happens. it happens. Well, we're so excited. I'm actually... My daughter, Bella's here in the studio with me, too. She's nine, and her little friend, Jordan, is nine, and I'm bringing them down, and so I've got two nine year olds I'm bringing to this concert that are just so pumped to see you and I've got a little girl do you want to say hi to Nick say hi. oh she's she, she's here she's eager to say hi and then she won't say hi will you say hi Bella don't be shy I don't bite <laughs> he say doesn't hi, bite Nick. Bella say hi no um do you want to tell him how well, excited I can, you are I can assure you this time the tickets will be at will call but, so. yeah, okay, okay, yeah okay. Well, well I'll make sure that I have my tickets and we'll get there and we'll see it um, so I, you know, I guess probably the usual questions that, you know, lots of people, you know, you're getting ready. You're, uh, what, what keeps you amped? You know, what do you do? What's up, what's on the iPod? What's the gym? You know, do you get up? Do you have a gym routine? What are you, what are you eating? I mean, what's your routine? What keeps you going? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a, a locked in routine yet because mm -hmm. the tour is just beginning. Right. Um, I mean, I, I, I like to work out in the gym, do a little, uh, workout into the show. Uh, but I, I think just the vibe being right at the venue is key. You know, yeah. we've got a lot of really great people out on the road. Um, you know, Demi and my team kind of combined, uh, and we all know each other very well. So that's great, yeah. I think that's the beauty. Of it. it really does feel like a bit of a family ordeal. Yeah, a lot uh, of you have worked together for a long time. To. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a really nice thing, and, and um, you know, there's kind of a safety net in that. But as far as the, pre the pre-show routine goes, I gotta, I gotta lock that in. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta figure that out. You gotta hey, like come up with like a mantra. I gotta mention, by the way, I, th I thought you were awesome on uh, Maya and Marty a couple weeks ago. Oh, thank you. It was excellent. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, Fun show. Yeah, it is. I love a good variety show. You don't see that anymore. Uh, but you're you're doing an acting thing as well too, right? Yeah, I have a feeling you're enjoying that. Yeah, you know, I've got a show called Kingdom. I do where I play a, a mixed martial arts fighter. Um, that we just are in the middle of the third season right now. It's airing. Uh, it's been a great, great journey to be on that show. Uh, and then, you know, more acting opportunities. I did a film called Goat that was at Sundance Film Festival. It's got a great reaction. So, you know, just kind of riding that wave as well and, and trying to find whatever time I can to split up a schedule and do both the music and the, the acting. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's certainly a lot to juggle, but we're so excited to see it all come together. And the Cross Insurance Arena in Portland is where it's at on July 9th and we're so we're you know we're about two hours away so we're excited to make a trip and there's just there's so many people here that are just so excited to come down and see you and to me and like the whole um, the whole vibe the, the fun the energy I mean it, it, do you really is that how you kind of do it you just pull the energy from the crowd do you you do a lot of interacting with the crowd I mean tell me a little bit about what to expect from the show yeah it's, it's all about the crowd um, I think that our, our job gets a lot easier when we feel connected to the audience. And, um, like the, the vibe is right. And, um, the, the, you know, the way we built this show, too, we wanted to make it an unforgettable night for the fans and uh, unique to any show they've seen uh, from us or, or anybody, for that matter. Um, so, yeah, it really is a continuous night of music from the minute the show starts. It just rolls through and... and should be hopefully a, a great experience for when that comes out. Hey Nick, uh, as a huge uh, Prince geek, I, I want to know uh, which members of his band that you toured with one time. I know you took some of them out, right? I did. Yeah, I, I toured with um, some of the guys that are part of the New Power Generation. So it was, um, you know, Michael Bland, Tommy Barbarella, nice. Sonny Thompson, um, just some amazing players and amazing guys. Yeah, those uh, guys can do it, man. Obviously. 
very, very sad to, to have to say goodbye to Prince. Oh, uh, you have no idea. <laughs> amazing to have gotten he's to play still with not guys. over it. I'm still in mourning. He's, he's yeah, like, I really am. I mean, yeah, hashtag biggest Prince fan ever. Mm-hmm. Who you're talking to. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> people best. Do you have anything for Nick, Paul? Yeah, well, uh, Nick, you know, you're on tour with Demi and all that. You know, what, what's that been like, you know? I mean, it's just kicking off in Atlanta. I saw you did a little surprise uh, ticket giveaway and all that stuff, too. Uh, you know, is, is uh, you know, you've been talking about getting into the routine and everything. You know, just what's it like in, in general? You said, you know, kind of like a family atmosphere and everything like that. Uh, you know, Demi's one of my closest friends. We, we, we grew up together. So we mm-hmm. met at, at 13, which is now 10 years ago for us. And wow. Uh, going, going on 11 years. Um and then, you know, built a, a really great friendship pretty quick. I think that, uh, you know, being inspired by some of the same things and, and being able to pour kind of our hearts into our music and, yeah. and create together was definitely a way we connected. And then now we're, we're business partners as well. So yeah, we who opens for who? Together. Yeah, what is it, who a back opens? and forth, or yeah, is it you and work? then her? How does that work? Yeah, it's, it's back and forth. So, that there, you know, I, I start the show, and then she comes on, does about 40 minutes. Uh, I come on and do another 20. She does another 15. Oh, wow. It really is kind of an even split. It's, awesome. It's, it kind uh, of gives you a little bit of a break, too, you know, after all that running around on stage. I know. Is, uh, Mike... eat dinner in between sets. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't, uh, is Mike Posner with you as well on some of these shows? He is for, for some of the shows, and, yeah. and uh, Mike's just the best. He. He helped me write a few songs on my last record, so we, we met then, and, and uh, he's just amazing. Yeah, yeah he's a great I, I love some of his stuff, too. Like, I'm, I'm excited to see him and you and her and the whole thing, and I, I know we've got a couple of little girls that just can't wait, and they're going to bring their signs and scream, and we're just... We just we absolutely can't wait. So we're we're really excited to see it unfold, and I just hope that you guys have an absolute blast. It's uh, Demi Lotto and Nick Jonas the Honda Civic Tour, July 9th, Cross Insurance Arena in Portland. And I know everybody can still get their tickets right at Ticketmaster.com. Thank you so much, Nick, for taking the time to yeah, chat with you. us today. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. No problem. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.